Welcome back to another video. So today, I wanna to do a little bit of spring cleaning. My apartment is literally disgusting today. I literally have trash everywhere, so I decided today that I wanna do a little bit of cleaning. But before we get into those important matters, I wanna talk about something that I've kind of been dealing with for the past couple months, I guess. So this here has been the bane of my existence for the past, like, two months. Am I addicted? I don't know. I want to quit vaping. There used to be a time where I told myself that I would never get into vaping, drinking, smoking of any sorts. Like I literally, at one point in my life, I literally detested like anybody that did any kind of drugs. I was that guy like, yo, you shouldn't vape, it's killing your body. You shouldn't drink, there's better ways to live. You can be happy without being on some type of drug. But here I am, I am semi addicted. So it's kind of sad to say. To, you know, to be honest with you, I actually hate this thing. I have to stop, you know, it's really a problem. <sighs> that scared a shot at me. Bro, I'm so fucking tired of this ring light. Literally, so it broke one video and I haven't got a new one. And literally, I can't, like I can't do, hey, look at this, let me show you. This end like broke, so it's supposed to connect to that. But as you can see, that is nothing. So I've been struggling with this fucking ring light for, oh, God, for like forever. All right, guys, no more drama, but seriously, if anybody out there like does have dealt with like uh, nicotine addiction, let me know in the comments like ways you gotten over that because I do wanna quit. I mean, I haven't even tried yet. Hopefully it's not too hard, but I heard that it is hard to like quit once you've been doing it for like two, three months, so we will see. All right, so number one course of action. Guys, if you're out there, clean your sheets. It's a monthly thing. You have to do it at least once a month, at least. You don't wanna have like a bunch of acne and stuff. As you guys can see, my skin has been getting a little bit clearer, mainly because I started washing my sheets. Hopefully you guys been okay. I think it's, I feel like it's been a minute since I've been like one-on-one -on -one with the camera. Like usually for the past couple of like weeks, I've been posting more information type of videos, but I do miss just talking to you guys one-on-one. -on -one. You know, a really funny thing just happened to me recently. A couple of days ago, I went to the store and I bought this, but the thing is I was actually like excited to go buy it. I don't know when that has ever happened in my life. Like I've never like been excited to go buy fucking detergent or I don't know, random stuff for the house. I've never, that's never happened to me. So like, it just hit me like, yo, I'm actually becoming an adult. Like the crazy part is I still feel so young, but time just doesn't stop, man. You just, I keep getting older every day. I don't know if it's that I miss being like a kid or if I just miss the simplicity of life as a kid. I don't know, because I wouldn't, I wouldn't trade my life now to go back to being like 16. But I don't know, man, it's just like, I kind of miss that simplicity, you know, of just you wake up and not really have any worries or cares in the world, man. I don't know. So, life updates. What's been going on with Ty? Recently, I've really been rethinking my like my entire worldview for a long time. I was just very simplistic in the way I thought. Bro, are you serious? There's literally food in my clothes. This is not okay. This is not okay. Why? 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 Why did I do this? I don't know if any of you guys are aware of the red pill, but there was this phenomenon like I think like two or three years ago that happened called the red pill. And basically it's just, it's a movement of just hate. And when I was younger, I kind of got mind, mind warped into that world. And for the longest time, I really just hated the world, the way it was, the way men versus women. I never really thought about it for myself. I just listened to what other people said and kind of ran with it. And I realized that that wasn't really correct because now looking like being like older and like growing up and going through life and seeing things for the way it actually is i see a lot of those things that they were saying specifically i'm gonna just say it fresh and fit if you're a guy out there around the ages of like 18 to 30 you more than likely know who fresh and fit is their worldview is just so so wrong and honestly yo if you go to their comments just if you read half the comments you realize most of those guys are desperately just crying out for help. Like, somebody please just help me. Somebody please just love me. And it's so sad that those dudes are just fucking over so many people for money. Like, bro, people don't realize that shit is just for money. I cannot wait, I cannot wait to get past the men versus women arc, bro. This shit is, 
It's annoying. Everywhere I go, I just see constantly men versus women. How much of a should a man make? What's your ideal vision of a man? I'm so tired of hearing the same fucking thing over and over and over. Like, can we go to something new? Can we go to something? Like, can we go back to like 2016 YouTube? That's probably what's missing. A lot of people will have said like, yo, 2016 was the best year. It was nothing but vibes. But you wanna know why? Because it wasn't you, as much hate in the world. Most of the time, in 2016, around that time, no, I believe the only thing that was controversial was like no, Logan Paul, the, the, that Korean force, or whatever. Which, to be honest with you, was a messed up thing. But, you know, like that was the worst of it. Everything else was just entertainment, happiness, fun. We had all type of YouTubers just showing like fun things. But nowadays, bro, it's just hate, hate everywhere you go. Can we go back to the era of just love, peace, and positivity? Um, but next, I do need to get rid of that. I don't know why I always, I always put stuff up on my headboard, which is so annoying because I have to like go over, which is why I leave it. But hey, that's just me. At this point, man, I should just really invest into a trash can. It's just annoying using bags constantly to try to keep the apartment clean. Uh, so next, I need to clean up the floor. So if you guys see, the floor is atrocious. It's, it's terrible. So luckily, I bought this little robot thing here. This was probably one of the best investments I've ever bought for this apartment. If I remember correctly, the app is called, what is it called, Robo something? There is something else I want to talk about that's been kind of on my mind um and i also want to talk about like future plans from like myself and the channel and stuff um, but first let me actually get this going so if i just press on look at that look at that all right so it's gonna be kind of loud for the like time being so what's been on ty's mind recently okay let me actually pause it that's actually really loud let me stop there for a second recently my mother has wanted me to come back home and like visit family and whatever, which is a good thing. You know, I'm not like against my family or anything. I'm just not ready to go back just quite yet. I don't know why that is because you know I love my family, and you know I will love to see. I haven't seen my parents, my family, anybody, friends, hometown friends, like none of that for like almost two years now, and I just don't know why. I don't want to go back yet. And it's kind of been making me question what's my priorities because, because you know, I've talked about how important family is and, you know, making connections with the people you love and all that, but here I am not wanting to go back home yet. And you know, it really honestly makes me feel like a bad person. You know, my mother, she just wants to see her son and I'm not even making any effort to try to go back home. It really makes me feel like a shitty person, like I'm a terrible person. I don't know, at this point in my life, I just really enjoy first my freedom that I get living here in Miami being you know an adult have my own apartment and all of that and then as I know that doesn't go away if I just go visit for like a week or two I really just enjoy me being here and working and building my social status and I don't know why I prioritize that over family and all of that because you know I've seen it millions of times on the internet yo don't oh, don't over stress about work don't push work and push off family because you're gonna regret it and and I'm doing literally that and hopefully this doesn't negatively affect me in the future if you haven't been keeping up the channel my grandfather has recently uh, passed away like you know a month or two ago during that time was one of the hardest times for me because not only that that happened but I'm high key missing like very important parts of my life in my family a couple days ago I was thinking about you know my brothers and sisters and you know I was thinking like what if I don't, well, no, this wouldn't happen, but what if, hypothetically, I didn't come back home in like five, 10 plus years? Would they even like know who I am? I've always been old enough to keep the memories and like remember how they grew up and their first moments of everything. But for them, their perspective, they've always been kids under like 10 years old. I don't want to end up being disconnected from my family. That's the last thing I would ever want to happen because I love my family. For pretty much all my life, family was all I really had. You know, they were always there for me no matter what. You know, I've messed up, they, you know, scalded me, but, you know, put me back on the right path. You know, family was a big part of me for the longest time, so, you know, what if I lose that closest to my family? And, you know, I was really never super close to my siblings. Of course, like, I talk to my siblings every day, but I was never really that loving, caring, big family. I never had that, and I always dreamt of having that. I'm not making it any better by moving 20, 30 hours away, not really texting my parents, um, my mother texts me sometimes, I text back uh, two days later because I'm so busy with, you know, my work life. You know, I'm a young man living in a big city. It's not my intentions, but it's just the way life goes when you're young and first finding yourself. So hopefully my parents understand that, especially my mother. It does scare me that 
I'm gonna miss huge parts of my siblings' life, their first prom or graduation or their first date. You know, I'm, I might miss all of that because I'm here in Miami and that does scare the shit out of me, man. You know, honestly, for me, this is all new. You know, I don't know what the future holds. I don't know what to do next. All I really do is try to do what I think is best for me in the moment. Let's get off of that. Let's talk about future plans and what I hope to achieve. So as you guys have seen, I have recently started going back to two uploads a week. Um, honestly, the only reason I stopped was mainly because um, work and I was really put, like I was working a lot heavy, you know, to get things in the background. I got a lot of things, we're gonna talk about it, planned. But I recently kind of waned down on like the nine to five and started like focusing more on my creative side. So here I am making two videos again. And honestly, bro, I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of sad during those like that month, two month period because like I was just working and I did understand why. But every time I come back to YouTube, I realize it's because I was missing this creative side of me. Like I love doing this. It's like, I don't know, this is what I strive for. It's what I live for, man. I love this. I want to start incorporating more of this type of element, like just straight vlogs, just me talking about my life. Because at the end of the day, I do want to have a personal connection with you guys, you know? You know, I want the channel to be focused around me. I don't want it to be something else that has nothing to do with me. That's why I haven't really talked about controversial things. So future uploads, I'm not saying it's gonna happen immediately. I don't know when it's gonna happen specifically, but I do want to start incorporating like vlogs like this way more where I'm just going about my day, maybe go to the beach, chill, chill somewhere. That's what I would like to do. As you guys see, my PC there, I want to start streaming. In the future, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna build a streaming setup. So I'm gonna buy like a desk and chair and all of that. And speaking on that, I did have one in the old apartment. If you've been watching that long, you're an OG. Especially when, bro, when GTA 6 comes out, I'm definitely streaming that. Like, bro, this PC can literally play any game. If you guys wanna know the specs, I'm gonna put them in the link. But uh, if I remember correctly, it's a Ryzen 7? 7700X or something like that. RTX 4090, if you're a PC guy, you know what that is. 16 gigs of RAM and the other stuff really just, you don't, it don't really matter. I'm gonna have a link down below. But this PC can really play any game known to man for like the next 10 plus years. So when GTA 6 comes out, guys, we're streaming it. We're gonna have fun. I want you guys there. Hopefully by then we're like 10K plus subscribers. Um, we will see. Those are the future plans for the channel. Now, what time is it? It is 4, it was 409. If you guys are watching this vid and you haven't watched me react to my mental breakdown, go watch that video. Um, it, was a vi it wasn't a sad video, to be honest with you. It was really just me reflecting on like my thoughts and what I was going through and not really how I overcame it, but like how I'm thinking now and, and what that experience may be like come to. So go watch that really good video. I really enjoyed it. I think it's good. I think Honestly, I think it's one of my best, if I'm gonna be honest with you. Monday, May 13th, 2024, so. If you're watching this like in the future, future time, what's up, man? Um, we here we are, 22, living life. Hopefully, life goes well. We will see. So that is my little rant for the day, guys. I love you guys so much. If you made it this far, you are a special person. Thank you for being you. You are, you are very gorgeous to me. Let me get a little robot going, a little robo, and I'm gonna enjoy my day. See you guys in the next vid. I love you guys, man. Peace.